Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. And today we have a really interesting question for everyone, age doesn't matter right here because a lot of students, a lot of people, a lot of adults like solve this challenge absolutely incorrect, so obviously age doesn't matter right here, you can easily solve this challenge and doesn't matter your age right here, we have 5 times 4 plus 10 times 2, we have right here inside parentheses. So right now you can easily pause the video and you can easily write your suggestion down, write your thoughts about this question, we have four options, we have three options, A, B and C. So right now choose one option what do you think is a correct answer from your perspective obviously and write your option down into the comment section we will check our answers because this is a very tricky question and a great test for everyone for example you graduated from school you studied at school and doesn't matter everyone can easily test our your knowledge right here. So first of all let's rewrite our question so what do we have right here we have 5 and inside parentheses we have 4 plus 10 and times here is our question, yeah, here is our question, I want to rewrite it right here because I'm going to explain you how can I solve this correctly. And obviously a lot of students confused about it because right here we have mm, between these four, 5 and 4 we have multiplication sign, right here we have addition sign and right here we have one small multiplication sign. We have three mathematical operations. Obviously we have two because we have two times we have multiplication, but generally we have three mathematical operations. M multiplication, uh, addition and uh, multiplication once more. Yeah, And right now will be the main moment right here. What is the correct order to do this problem? Yeah, Because obviously we, for example, can add right here 4 plus 10, we have 14 times 2, we have uh, 28, 28 times 5, we have 140, we can solve this challenge like that. We can obviously start with this multiplication, we will have a completely different answer and it turns into a big argument, a lot of students arguing with each other about a correct order. And in this video I'm going to show you this order of operation, someone called this order as the most popular order of operation in the world and I agree with it because this PEMDAS order of operation is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, all cal cal calculators, most popular calculators, most popular internet libraries, mathematical libraries, yeah, works according to this PEMDAS does and right now I'm going to solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So right now let's look at this PEMDAS. How did this PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Next we should evaluate exponents. For example we have like a 2 cubed, 2 to the fifth power. Yeah, we need to simplify this, we need to evaluate at first. Next, we need to evaluate multiplication division group. Yeah, we need to find all multiplication division signs and we need to evaluate this multiplication division group. And the last step is addition and subtraction group. So obviously parentheses is the highest priority, addition subtraction the lowest priority. So right now this is explanation about this PEMDAS. And right now let's solve this question according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So I want to separate these parts and I want to rewrite this challenge. We have five and inside parentheses we have we have 4 plus 10 and times and times 2. Really great. And right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. Right now we need to scan what, do we, what elements do we have in our challenge uh, according to this PEMDAS. So first of all, we have right here multiplication. Yeah, we have right here multiplication part. Yeah, we have one multiplication sign. The next, from left to right, parentheses we have. Yeah, we have right here parentheses. Next, we have addition. We have right here addition. And we have once more, we have multiplication. So we want to mention that right here we have once more multiplication. So this is a correct approach. When we have the challenge according to this PEMDAS, we need to scan what do we have right here according to this uh, question. And right now we can easily skip this division part, we can easily skip this subtraction part, we can easily skip this multi exponents part. Right now we have only addition part, we have only multiplication part and we have only parentheses part. Right now, as I told before, higher position means higher priority. So what elements have the higher position? Parentheses. So parentheses has the highest priority. And right now we want to find our parentheses. Parentheses we have right here. And our first step is to evaluate, is to simplify the expression inside inside parentheses. So let's do this. But inside parentheses we have like a complicated expression with addition and multiplication signs. It's not like 4 plus 4 plus 10, yeah? We have mm, complicated expression, so we have we need to find what we need to do at first. Addition or multiplication. Let's look at it. Addition is right here, multiplication is right here. So it looks like our second step is to multiply 10 times 2. So multiplication has the higher position than addition, so our second step is multiplication. So we need to multiply 10 times 2. Let's do this. So 5, 5, and inside parentheses we have right here 4 plus 10 times 2 equal to, equal to 20. Really great. 
with your tranny. And right now, final step, we have addition. Yeah, we have right here third step addition. Yeah, and we need to add 4 plus 20, which is really like obviously obvious thing for us because 4 plus 20 equal to 24 and 5 times 20 is 4 equal to 100 and 120. And uh, right here we had like obviously the fourth step because uh, we have the last step multiplication. It's not according to parentheses. We have right here this multiplication. So uh, obviously one multiplication is in second step right here and the second multiplication is our fourth step. But doesn't matter. I hope you understand it because uh, according to this multiplication this is very basic step for us because because 5 times 24 we don't need our order of operation to do this. This is very basic thing for us. And right now, what is the correct option? I hope you understand this uh, this step, why 120 is the correct answer. And right now, let's look closely. Uh, what options do we have right here? We have 140, 5 factorial and 60. Obviously, this is not A, this is not C. What about option B? Let's remember, let's learn about factorials. We have 5 factorial equal to 1 times 2 times 3, 4 and 5. Yeah, something like that we have right here. So right now, let's multiply it. We have 1 times 2, we have 2, 2 times 3, 6. 6 times 4, 24, and 24 times 5 equal to 120. So 5 factorial, this is the same as 120. So as a result, our correct answer to this challenge, this is option. Option B is a correct answer. So let's write our answer right here. So this is option. Option B is a correct answer to this question. Option B is <coughs> a correct answer to this. So we hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand why this PEMDAS is extremely important in these cases, because for example, if we add four plus 10, we have 40. 40 times two, we have we have, uh, we have right here addition. Yeah, we have four plus uh, 10, we have 14. 14 times two, 28. 28 times five, we have 140. So a wrong answer. If we start with multiplication, we have our answer, 120. If we start, for example, with this addition right here, so 5 times 4, we have 20, 20 plus 10, 30, 30 times 2, we have 60. As you can see, three combinations is in our heads. This is a correct answer for us, but obviously, in terms of math, a correct answer is option is option B. So this is an extremely important moment right now for everyone to understand this this PEMDAS order of operation, which is extremely important thing in terms of math, because everyone should know about it, everyone should learn something new according to this PEMDAS order of operation. Also, Rob, you can easily write your thoughts, write your, your answer, write your solution down into the comment section, write your thoughts about it, about uh, maybe you, you solve it in a different way, in a, according to board math right here, or another different order of operation. It will be really interesting to read about it, because obviously a lot of countries, a lot of solutions, a lot of discussions about it so you can also write your approach down into the comment section it would be really interesting to read about it not for, not for me personally uh, but for everyone yeah this is really important moment so thank you for your time i hope you understand this explanation write your question into the comment section write your suggestion what do you think about this pemdas what do you think about this question also you can uh, write your um, your answer you can also write that your answer is correct or incorrect uh, and I hope you understand something new. I hope you learn something new. See you in the next videos.